good, what is bad, what is appropriate, what is not. I have talked about on the air when a, a guy would call about it. With your beautiful boy was what? And uh, family, friends, and um, the um, hospital staff and ROPA. Um, uh, it made me very comments and um, he had gotten a page and skateboard pretty near you Pam because you were about two hours away you couldn't get by the time you arrived he was off oh. the wall stuffed animals his whole room was filled a spot on the wall that wasn't covered with something part of why you wanted to contact us was a, a young boy yes yes producers you weren't sure how you were going to handle the moment when you find <laughs> Still here. Oh gosh. Barbara, you wanted to put your you. I just want to see. Oh my god. <laughs> A very, very sick son. Biopsy results came back and they had told like on the way to school there was a seven eleven. Let me share with the audience, I hope it's okay with this family, something that I thought was really oh. those are oh. all four changes of them. Look at this. <gasps> Can we show? Oh Can we share? Oh, and That's what is this funny. as you open it? It's a gift from by saving him. Gina? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, Rudy, bless your sweetheart. At the end of August, even, it was pretty bad. So many ways. Oh, yes. So many ways. Donate his organs, or was that a difficult decision? No, um, actually, the face of this earth. And by Stephen. Organ wise? Uh huh. Um, Four people. Four people. Lori? Is that true? Even if you have signed it and... Unfortunately, in Cal... Uh -huh. Wasn't a life, was it, Lori? No, it wasn't. Trying to work, he broke down. And... There's loss, and oh. you knew that. Yes. Stephen's gift. It's coming in right over here. Greg, tell her what this means. Well, this something we thought of that how bad was it Lori go down doesn't it yes babe. they weren't that encouraging even to your family and telling not to even expect your daughter to come back alive <laughs> obviously both moms sit right here with your mom do you mind a match for you pretty quickly yes about haven't you kind of allowed um, yourself to go there in your mind yeah who do you think us to even comprehend what this kind of feeling must be um, you know, it's Lori and I have talked over the years. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> and now, Lori, you have a <laughs> so Now it's like no. every every little that the the living donation is is so beautiful, but people are afraid. Down, <laughs> Lori, about as low as it'll go. Yes, bone marrow from getting to Lori. Uh, yes, when I woke up in the hospital bed, I was looking at a television. Oh, well, Daddy. this was a meant to loving gift. Well, you know, it only takes a simple. <laughs> Jesse, you know these people. You went through a similar situation with your son. Uh, going through this uh, transplant life. The reason I'm here today is is because I um, had a family today to help out if I could, and I thought maybe you could help me do that. You know we can, and this know what it's like. Tremendous I'm, burden. Jesse. And, and unfortunately, the second one, he went in this. Hi. These Hi. people, uh, wow, it's hard to even begin to explain your story. Uh, you have two kids with cystic. You doing okay? Doing well, thank you. Many people who were, I guess, gut response. How did she get invited? And how I'm not sure, but the story was that her Brits, the children, face is known, every, his name is known everywhere. And then she went to the, uh, the big uh, vanity show that it's not who you know, it's who you do. Oh. Oh. And herself, she said it's not. Invited to meet Ben Affleck. What's interesting is when she was on uh, the program and, and decided not to, and the want to know category, little, little more, yeah. but you know, we all say, okay, we're over Monica, but at the book signing here at Century City, a nine-hour line. And we she, had our year, and then she'll be co-hosted with the Juice Man at three o'clock in the morning. She's <laughs> not an ugly woman by any means, but no, I think she's very pretty. Um, I, I personally don't think she's pretty. Cool. <laughs> but Christine, you too. Shallow about observations at the Academy Awards, but really the women audience. What size are you most comfortable? I thought that Mariah Carey looked beautiful. I she looked, she looked wonderful. very shapely. She did. Yeah. 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 
You can tell. I'm very surprised to hear you being so quiet on this conversation. You go there, you I got go the there. women showing their breasts and their booty. I do that, and the fact is, there. And as I said on the radio, I said, they're not. And that is why women... Talking about Monica's size and... No, it's not true. What size? Who's at a, at a bigger size? The double digit size. Now, w stand up for us, would you? Yeah. Do you mind saying what size you are? Like 14, 16, and 18. Yes. Oh, yeah. all right. Is there a difference in the way a white suspect is treated than the way an African American suspect would be treated? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Audience, where are you on that? But, I, but there is, like. Um... Driving while black. Wrong is the large number of young black men. People get mad at you about it for saying that, yeah. for holding Makes... that point. Well, I, I happen to agree with you on a point because I remember years ago to lying. Her. She was lying. So but also this woman that was shot. In... Whether it happened because she was black as opposed to cops being negative. I think it looks like it. We're having an investigation. I don't happen to believe it's racism that cause. And black cops stopped and harassed. I, I don't think it matters the color. I'll tell you what should be the big story this week. And I wonder I'm being about. It should think we're confused and we we're feeling we have no business being there. It's a strategy. And if we're going to go there, why don't we go to Africa? What do we do with a guy like Milosevic? Do we just ignore him M with this madness? Well, I mean, theoretically, you would think when it's NATO, you would think a bunch of countries go Jones average hovering around 10,000. They see the unemployment rate. It's down around four. So how long has it been? Uh, six <laughs> years. Forgiven her. They've been writing letters to each other. And California, right? Cable access show for long and forgiveness and moving on. But if I... If I also don't like them calling her the... Strange things that happened in Long Island. Ferguson gets on. <laughs> yeah. uh, you just had her down on that but one. But you had O.J. Simpson, and that was the weirdest thing I ever saw. Oh, that's true. I have not seen use their services, and they bust them and put them through kind of like a scared straight, like traffic school. Take the former. How many times they robbed them? Legalized prostitution. This would not be an issue. It's all gone now. Mm. Yeah. It's she all gone now. But I, I'm one of those, and whether it's politically correct or not, um, it, we're having nothing to do with that whole up for a while and Elizabeth Hurley's choice to stay with him. And like she did, I would have been. <laughs> the other um, scandal born living uh, on his own. Potatoes <laughs> got a. Uh, about two weeks ago, could not get into the sky bar. That's how far he's fallen. Yes, yeah, that's how far he's fallen. <laughs> he, he went. Kato's a fat burger. <laughs> how bad can it be? You can survive a scandal in this week, and here's a promising young. You just never know. You don't. You never know, and uh, all of the stress people under, uh, and also to look happy and to look like you're having a good time all the time. People can be masking all kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. sure. I mean, we, we Andy Dick, who spent uh, some of uh, the, the the last day with David Strickland. Here's another person who has had to stay successful or to become successful. And and I think often people go into show business because they're insecure. They want to. His friends actually said, Larry. You look gorgeous. Elf. Oh. oh. You know they always say the. Thank you. <laughs> to sort of set the record straight about you. And the cosmetic never goes away. It just grows and grows. And hundred pounds. Over a hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. The. That, this is the time that a lot of people remember as lost control. I still have that dress, and I'm going to do a photo shoot with. Now, her. I mean, oh. that was many many pounds ago. But that, were, that was... were you? Do you even? Oh, oh, I've been so messed up so many times. Being there, I, when I saw myself on People magazine, the cover, I was like, oh, how gorgeous, oh, my God. I was so excited until the media was like, she's fat. So at that size. Well, that's so sad, then, that they bashed you and about you. I think it was after that that you had gone. Then they said you ran away from Betty Ford with Keanu. I wish. Now, your person <laughs> really hurt you that people yes. assumed when you married this almost basically took care of me he took care of my son and I took care of him and loved him and it was a mutual love and respect and he loved me unconditioned I pulled him out of death as he pulled me out of never it never hit me you got one to extreme to the other what can yeah. I say? <laughs> told one of our producers that there are a few things that you're known for <laughs> <laughs> should we guess <laughs> no always a breast question or a joke or that's because you for the whole world to know i am so tired <laughs> i was 125 pounds very